So here we go. Now let's talk about detection, direction finding, and signal processing. Okay, new section, new chapter. As depicted below, the antennas and sensors are typically connected to a digital receiver. Okay, it's a typical configuration in any ESN system. This equipment, the receiver, is the one capable of detecting incoming signals, which means analog to digital conversion, signal processing, of course in the digital domain, extracting RF parameter and allocation all data in what we usually call PDW, Pulse Descriptor Words. PW contain data as TOA, time of arrival, relative input power of the intercepted signal, frequency, angle of arrival, pulse width, and so on. For better understanding, I would like to recommend you having a look here in this link attached. It's a pulse descriptor word simulator. In this catalog, you can find some schematic, technical concept, and of course, how PWs are implemented and what data is containing. This is a simulator product coming from the well-known Rodan Svartz. Um, just as a remark, remember these trains of PWs are provided to a higher system level for classification, database correlation, and finally identification of the threat. Um, so let's switch. Let me just show you the link provided. We're going to go through it super quick, but please uh, take your time, okay, and analyze it, okay? So um, as you can see here, hopefully you can, yeah, it should be fine. Um, yeah, draw the smart. This is a vector signal generator, okay? So just take your time and please. Uh, check this link carefully and um, you can find some some keywords for example IQ modulated radars stream pulse descriptor words as you can see here some data your task the solution some really nice um, schematics as you can see here concept of a PW streaming okay user LAN then the product by Rode and you can understand in different domains, uh, amplitude, frequency, phase difference, analog output, okay, to generate, to simulate the, the incoming, a possible radar threat, and um, the PW formatting, as you can see here. You can see here, for example, let me see, I'm not sure if you can see it properly, hope. Um, you have time of arrival, frequency offset, and several, several, several information here. Um, Real-time data. You have here more spectrum. Just have a look here. Um, yeah, different levels of RF. A pulse repetition interval. Okay, IQ per stream, different parameter generating IQ modulated signal. You can check here how they look, what kind of signals are we uh, generating in this case in time domain and magnitude, some pulsed with a specific uh, parameters um, to simulate the rate of the threat, rectangular linear. So this product basically generates quite several um, pulses it depends on our our purposes but uh, it looks like quite a complete product okay um, exactly benefit real-time rate as generator execution rate multi emitter which is super nice we usually want to simulate to see what happened with our reception with our ESM system under several threats, under several emitters, IQ modulated waveform, bandwidth limited uh, to independent RF path. So here at the bottom, you have also 
um, the datasheet, the commercial datasheet. So please just have a look. I just wanted to to give you once again a real product, a real um, unit. Uh, we don't want to stick just with the theory. We want to correlate uh, the theory and real product, real uh, out there on the market. Okay, so please have a look. And I really hope this kind of light up <laughs> the the theoretical part. Okay, so considering checking again. So yeah, let's continue. So within the context of digital detection, I would like to point out some advantage of the current digital receivers. Okay, so just remember the trend currently is moving from the analog domain to digitalizing as much as possible. Ideally, almost placing the analog to digital converter ADC just right after the antenna sensor. That would be super good, convenient. Okay, for that purpose, we have listed here several digital detection considerations. So firstly, digital receivers are quite robust against noise and jamming environments. So when it comes to analog domain, this is super sensitive and therefore easy to jam or saturate, making the equipment useless in an operating mission. Secondly, we have multi-signal handling. For example, pulse, pulse, pulse on continuous wave, multi-CV, thanks to basically the, the fact of digitalizing and the interleaving. Analog domain is basically limited to mono signal. Next point, due to longer and more powerful FFT processing, in the, in, when it comes to digital receiver, the detection of course improves. Okay. In addition, improve intrapulse detection, for example, detecting the frequency, phase, etc. from incoming pulses. As a summary, here I have attached a simple table describing different receiver types and each performance when it comes to parameter as sensitivity, dynamic range, bandwidth, frequency resolution and multi-signal capability. I think this is quite intuitive. Nevertheless, please contact us if you need further information or clarification. Um, so table, yeah, as you can see here, just let's focus on the digital wideband, for example. Uh, digital wideband, as you can see, is pretty much good in all fields. In when it comes to sensitivity, dynamic range, bandwidth, frequency resolution, and multi-signal, yeah, acceptable. Then we have digital multi-channel, which is even better, I think, is the, the, the one of the, yeah, the top one. And typically the one used currently for ESM solution, now a present year. Sensitivity, excellent. Dynamic range, quite good. Bandwidth, quite acceptable. And then frequency resolution and multi-signal, of course, excellent. That's what is this unit um, developed for. Then we have, yeah, just as a comparison, we have here a direct detection receiver or super heterodyne. As you can see, for multi-signal, they are super limited and we don't recommend that. But yeah. Once again, please consider this is as a yeah, rough um, summary, giving you the idea, the overall concept. And if you are more interested on that, please let us know. And we could easily, we could uh, develop or create a course uh, just about receivers, about these kind of receivers and go through the evolution, go through the technical limitation, go through the technical implementation. Um, but in the meantime, you can Google them. Okay. I would like to recommend that just Google as they, as they are shown here, digital wideband receiver, for example, versus digital multi-channel receiver, something like that. And then you will find a lot of documentation, a lot of them.